The Bayern fans at the Allianz Arena were expecting fireworks from Robert Lewandowski. After all, Wolfsburg provided the opposition against whom the Pole had scored 17 goals in 20 Bundesliga appearances, including that incredible five in nine minutes in September 2015. Wolfsburg created the best early chance, though. Zader Schlager feeding Felix Klaus in the 13th minute, but he was denied by Manuel Neuer. Klaus got his first start since match day 11, what with Wout Wethorst unable to begin due to illness. Oliver Glasner's side relied predominantly on their defence, the best in the Bundesliga. They restricted Bayern to very little in the first half, and when they did threaten, such as in the 29th minute through Serge Gnabry, Kuhn Castells provided an excellent last line of defence for the obstinate visitors. Nil-nil at the break, frustration for Bayern, including the suspended Thiago. Bayern hadn't won a game when not ahead at the interval all season in the league. They continued to find life difficult in the second half. Coutinho linking with Lewandowski, but Castells denied the dynamic Brazilian. It really was a top-notch showing from the Belgian keeper. For the second time in three days, Joshua Zirkze came on as a substitute. The 18-year-old scored with his first Bundesliga touch against Freiburg 104 seconds after coming on. It was deja vu. 85 minutes on the clock, and this fine move ended with Zirkze finding the net again. His very first contact with the ball. Bayern have found themselves a super sub. Again in a repeat of Wednesday night, Serge Gnabry made it absolutely certain, scoring his sixth league goal of the campaign with a minute left in normal time. A bit cruel on a dogged Wolfsburg, but Bayern had found the magic late on once more. Zirkze and Gnabry, the two difference makers, turning what looked like a draw into a Bayern win.